Hi, I'm Kevin. Hi, I'm Talia. And today we're going to show you what one of the first year resident halls looks like, specifically Reynolds House. Um, so come with us. Welcome to the quad. Hi guys, we're in Reynolds 102, um, one of the residence halls in the quad at Clarkson. Um, there are four buildings, there's Ross, Brooks, Kelly, and Reynolds. So each floor there's about 60 students, except for the fourth floor. The fourth floors usually have like 25. Um, there are men's all men's floors, there are all women's floors, and there are co-ed floors. Every floor usually has a theme with a living learning community. So every floor has an RA. Um, RAs are resident advisors, and basically residents can go to their RAs if they have any questions about um, campus life or student life or academics in general. Um, really, RAs are, re are just there to be a resource for you. So you'll find out your housing information for this fall around mid-July after do, uh, taking the roommate survey and choosing your themed floor. Most students live in doubles, which means you'll, have, you'll most likely have a roommate unless you choose to have a single. So in all the rooms in the quad, um, each room comes with a vanity and a mirror and a little vanity light. Um, right here though we have this bed which is lofted a little higher than the other bed. Um, you can loft it at any height that you want, it's up to you. Um, if you do loft it higher, you have more room to store stuff under and you can put like your fridge under. Um, so on every floor there are lounges and the lounges are, are equipped, well except for the fourth floor, they're all equipped with a microwave, a TV, a um, space where students are able to study and mingle and use the sink or do as they please. Hi, so here we're in the bathroom, the women's room. They're all equipped with three stalls and four sinks. And here we have the showers. And there are also three showers here as well. Don't forget your shower shoes. Hi guys, I'm just gonna go down a list of things you should bring and recommended things that you the first year students need in their dorms. Um, the first are, is a phone wallet on the back of your phone. Usually they give it to you during orientation at some point or you can just get one from Walmart. It can hold like your credit card and more importantly student ID which is used for everything mostly on campus, especially to get into your dorms. Um, you can get like a box boil water boiler or Keurig. Um, those are really helpful too. For example, you want to make coffee, tea, or anything at late night. You know, you don't have to go over to the lounge. You just stay in your room. Another recommended thing to bring um, are storage containers and uh, storage drawers. They're really helpful to optimize space in the room and you can put them under your bed if your bed is lofted. Another recommended thing is a fan, especially for the fall semester and in the spring semester it gets like really hot sometimes and you don't want to be like stuck in your room. Very, very hot, you know, it helps. Um, an iron or a steamer, you never know when you have to do a career fair or a professional event. You want to make sure you're pressed and permed and ready. A mop, a broom, or a Swiffer jet. Honestly, anything to just clean your floor. A surge protector as well is really helpful for the outlets here in case you have like a fridge or things using up a lot of energy. Um, desk lamp or decorative lights, those are totally optional. Um, I find it really helpful. Um, my freshman year, I didn't want to wake up my roommate. I'm a night owl and I just turn on my desk lamp rather than the whole light up the entire room. Um, I would also say a wax warmer that's also very optional. You know, I like my room smelling nice all the time. You never know when you have somebody coming over. So some things you cannot have in your dorm room are air conditioners, halogen lamps, toaster ovens, full-size fridges, um, space heaters, candles and incense, extension cords and string lights. 